What is up guys, it's Didi. I got another battle here today. This is an Are You Battle Items Dean Blade, who I met off the Smogan Wi-Fi Battle Finder. And it was a pretty good battle. Um he told me he wasn't really um you know acquainted with the RU metagame, uh and he hasn't been really keeping up with it. So yeah, he was you know, it was probably not his best tier, but you know, he decided to play anyways because you know RU is always a fun tier. But as you can see, he's got a Graveler, which I guess I suspect it as a lead, because, you know, people like to lead with the Graveler or Golem, so they can get rocks up and then, you know, sucker punch, earthquake shenanigans. And he's also got a Rotom, and, uh, I'm, I'm suspecting Choice Scarf. He's got uh, Haunch Crow, which I'm guessing will probably be priority sucker punch. Hitmonlee, which I was thinking would be normal gem fake out, but as you're going to see, it's not. Um, he's got Altaria, which I believe is NU. But uh, it's, I think we've got pretty good walling capabilities. And here, first time, I'm just going to go for the fake out. want to get my Toxic Orb activated, and I want to break his sturdy, because I know even if I get like a crit with the close combat on the first turn, it won't even matter. Um, but as you're going to see, that close combat does a lot. I mean, that that is a nice amount of damage. But here, this guy pulls out the fucking counter. I don't even... What? That just blew my mind. I've never seen that on any grav uh, I've never seen Graveler in RU anyways, but like still I've never ever seen that and that really threw me off. And then I completely forget about the sucker punch. I go into Axagor. Like, okay, well I'll just Giga Drain you. And he's like, Nope, sucker punch to the face, so I'm like, alright, well this sucks because now I take life orb damage and sucker pin sucker punch damage. I get virtually no HP back from that um Giga Drain. Because he was such low HP since Harry Haryam is a big threat in RU with that uh guts close combat. But now when I switch out, go into Glide because I figure he's probably physical and here I don't see any life orb damage yeah, he just takes brave bird recoil so I'm thinking he's probably scarfed because um or he could be banded I mean but I don't really see banded uh Honch girl all that much um especially since it has moxie so you just get your scarf moxie users are pretty common and I go for the toxic on the switch and I catch his altari which is awesome because these things tech, uh, tend to be walls but I'm pretty sure he's gonna have the heal bell, so not really that big a deal for him. So I go into Clefable, you know, I can pretty much take any hit he wants to go for. If he was Dragon Dance, that could have been bad, because I think I uh, Clefable is naturally higher special defense, I think. Um, but as you can see, he does pull out the heal bell, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. I mean, I can just hit him with a double edge. And this double edge does a lot. I mean, that's over half, and Clefable has a pretty crappy attacking stat, so I was surprised it did that much. It did that much. Maybe he, he could be more invested in special defense um, as possible. Um, he's gonna go out and do his Rotom now, and I figure I'll just go for the double edge again, trying to get as much damage on that Altari as possible. Because so I went for the Fire Blast, he potentially could have roosted up, and then my double edge would have been, you know, useless. But now I'm gonna go for the Soft Boiled, because I'm pretty sure he's just gonna Volt Switch, and even if he stays in a T Bolt, um, I should just Soft Boil, because then I can just Fire Blast next turn. But he goes into his Hitmon. Lee, yes, not Chan, and I go into my Glagger because I know these things don't get an ice type move, so I'm pretty safe with Glagger. And as you can see, he's not fake out normal gen. In fact, he's fake out life orb, which is a little bit different because usually you see uh, uh, the fake out normal gen on Burden set, but I guess he just decided not to run it, which is fine. I mean, fake out life orb so can do a nice chunk, but I think that Hariyama probably does the job better, and you can carry fire punch on Hariyama, and you also get ice punch. I mean, Hariyama is probably one of the most dominant fighting types in the RU tier. Um, I like Metacham too, but uh, Hariyama tends to dominate. And now I'm going to predict the status move of Smokind, and I go to Clefable, which is good and bad. I mean, Clefable appreciates a Toxic more than a Burn, because my Double Edge is powered down now, since I do get the attack drop. And as you're going to see, this is going to matter right here. Um, no, not right here. Yeah, never mind. Fire Blast isn't going to take it out, because, you know, it's an Altari and it resists it. So now I'm going to go for the Double Edge this turn, after he roosts, I believe, and he does roost. And it's not going to do as much as before. It's going to do about half, if, I, if I'm doing my math right, because, you know, burn halves your attack. So, um, logically, attack would be, you know, do half as much damage. And, yeah, it does do about half, maybe a little bit less. It could have been min-max, you know, variations. But, um, yeah, now I definitely can't stay in here because, you know, Clefable, um, using Burn Double Edge isn't really going to do anything. But now he's going to roost up to full, and I go into my Haunch Crow. Now, this isn't your standard, uh, sub, Sucker Punch, Brave Bird, Roost Haunch Crow. This is actually, uh, a different set that I, it's not really 
like original. It's actually a nasty plot Honchko, which is pretty funny. I mean, I've seen it used before, so I'm not going to call it an original set. And I actually carry the HP ice just randomly. I don't even know why, because I, I was having this thing. I was like, let's see what special attack Honcho get, and it gets like Dark Pulse, Heat Wave. And then I was like, you know what? What do, what do I want more in fourth attack? And I'm just like, yeah, let's just slap HP ice on there, because why not? But now I'm going to predict to switch out, I think, or I just went for the Dark Pulse just to switch up moves. Because, you know, it's always good to switch up moves whenever you have the opportunity. Um, uh, don't really know what I was predicting, but uh, in case he wanted to switch out and go into something that resisted the ice, I could just hit him with a Dark Pulse. I don't really know what I was thinking, but whatever. It killed him, that's all that matters. But now I'm going to Clefable as he goes for his own HP ice, which is... Um, I guess he was predicting my Gliscor switching, because this guy literally has nothing to take on my Gliscor right now. Gliscor is, uh, he doesn't have an Ice-type move on his team, except for Rotom, uh, and he, Rotom's pretty, I do have Clefable for Rotom, uh, and I can wall that thing pretty easily, I'll be able to take its hits, even if it goes for, like, a T-Bolt, unless he gets, like, two crits in a row, then I'll, I'll be able to take it on pretty easily, but now he's gonna go, I'm gonna go into my Honchko, expecting, like, a Will-O-Wisp or something, maybe just a Shadow Ball, because I resist it, and I think I'm just gonna go for a Dark Pulse here, if I'm not mistaken, because I just wanna try to kill this Mischievous, because really his only chance of uh, winning this game is hey, will will pick my Gliscor and stalling it out, which is unlikely, I mean, it'd just be a huge stall war, but now I'm gonna switch out as he goes into his Honchko, because I'm predicting the Sucker Punch, because Mo oh wait, oh, why would I predict the Sucker Punch? That wouldn't make sense. I don't know, whatever, he goes for the Drill Pick anyways, which is, um... Not very standard, I guess. I mean, I guess you could run it on, like, a Scarf Honchkrow, because what else would you really run? I guess you could run, like, Brave Bird, I mean, Dual Dual Stab, like, Brave Bird, uh, Night Slash Sucker Punch in uh, Drill Pick. I, I guess it is useful when you are running low on HP and don't want to kill yourself to recoil, but, uh, I don't know. I guess you could run Super Power if you're not going to run Moxie, um... That would probably be the better option, in my opinion, with Super Luck. I guess you could do that, because then Night Slash gets the boost, and you could have, like, a really high crit chance. Um, but whatever, you know, to each their own. And now I'm just going to stall him out with Toxic and Roost, and Glagor is still at full HP, which is awesome. And now I really have to switch out, because the HP Ice is so obvious. Like, why would you not go for HP Ice? And, and it kind of makes a double switch in vain, because I can just switch back into Glagor, um... Once he goes into his Hitmonchan, ah, Hitmonlee, not Hitmonchan, Hitmonchan punches, this thing kicks. And uh, now he's going to go for the close combat, not wanting to overpredict, but I go into Axel Gore thinking maybe I can live one, but no, because he's life orb and it's stab, and Hitmonlee has got a decent attacking stat, so it's going to be able to take me out, but you know, whatever, I don't, I didn't really need it that much, because I do have Gliger and uh, Clefable as my, you know, walling core for this uh, kind of throw-together team that I found, I was like, uh, these things look like they would work well together, but um, you get the crit on this close combat, which really shows you how bulky Gliscor is. Like, that did nothing at all, and now I'm going to be able to get a Toxic off, so Toxic plus Life Orb. It's going to wear him down pretty quickly, and uh, that's pretty much going to seal the game. I mean, I'm going to Toxic here, I think. No, 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 I'll go for Earthquake, I think. Yeah. Now I'll go for Roost. That actually makes sense, yeah, because I wanted to get back to full... And now I'm going to predict his switch, no, his pain split, and I'm going to go for the Toxic here. And uh, once I've had this thing Toxic, that thing pretty much sealed me the game, because now I can stall this thing out really easily. Um, and that'll be that. Unless he has the Heal Bell, of course, but he has the Heal Bell on Altar yet, so I doubt he would be running two Clerics on the same team. That would be a little bit weird, but um, I guess it is possible. But I predict the Will-O-Wisp here, because, um, you know, I'm a special attacker. He wouldn't really mind the Willows too much. I mean, I would die, like, after one turn because of Life Orb. But, you know, whatever. And here he just leaves his, uh, Mischievous in here to die, which is alright. Because, you know, he pretty much had lost the game already. Uh, that's why you kind of have to come prepared for things like Gliger in, uh, RU. Because, you know, Gliger's a pretty big threat just because it can wall fighting. Uh, it's just got great defensive typing, and it's got pretty nice defense and HP stats, especially after you violate. Plus, it gets as access to Roost and Stealth Rocks, which is uh, two ma really great selling points at Glagger. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think I was talking about it in the other video. Um, it might get moved up to UU, and I would not be surprised if it did, because that thing probably would do pretty well in UU. And I mean... There are some pretty potent ice-type attackers in Yu Yu, like there's Nido King with Sheer Force and Life Orb. There's also Frostlass, which is, you know, fast uh, ice-type user things. I don't really know what I'm saying, but yes, yeah, Glagger's good. If you haven't used an RU yet, I would recommend it 
highly. It is a very good poke to use. And um, yeah, I'm just going to basically stall him out with Clefable. I missed two Fire Blasts, with, <laughs> which is kind of funny, because it doesn't really matter since I can just soft boil it up after he T-bolts me. Or I think he had to go for HP Ice, otherwise um, he would have lost, because, you know, he couldn't hit Gligar. But uh, yes, I finally win a battle, which is awesome, because I never win. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I don't really know what else I want to say here. Um, I think that's pretty much it for me. I mean, if I forget something, I'll just put it in an annotation. That'll be fine. But yeah, alright, thanks. Uh, so rate, comment, sub, thanks for watching, and see you later, guys.